Many teachers are used to utilizing Seesaw with iPads. Um, this quick video is going to show how to utilize them with Chromebooks as well and be an introduction to Seesaw activities, which are really great for stations. So if you don't have a full class set, um, this is great for stations. So uh, you can see I'm now logged in as a teacher. And if I go to activities, um, I can create my own activities and I can go to the activity library and search for already created activities. So these are activities that Seesaw has um, already here. You can sort by grade, so they try to find ones that are appropriate for a certain grade. So you can see these are relevant. Um, this one came out, you know, for Valentine's Day. There's one on goal setting, getting to know each other, um, writer's workshop, and math work. So I can um, view this writer's workshop activity. If I wanted to share it directly with my class, if I like everything the way that it is, I play the instructions, I can share it right here. And the work's kind of done for you already, and it provides these really good instructions for your students. If you want to customize it, you just click on Customize, and then you can go in and you can change up um, the wording here. Notice that they've got some different shortcuts in order to get the icons within the Seesaw description. So I'll show you some of these shortcuts. So in order to um, add the drawing icon, I'm going to do colon drawing colon. Um, so same with a lot of these. I know that you'll probably use the check one a lot, like click the green check mark when you're done. So it's just colon check and then colon. So that is why these look like this. Um, and then also, maybe you want to record your instructions yourself so that you can add a few details. Maybe it's a certain book that you're reading or a certain character you want to highlight. You just click the escape right here, and then you can record your own voice instructions. So I could save this as a draft for later, or I could preview and share with my class. Now we're going to take a quick break to look at what this would be like as a student. So I am currently on my computer. This would be what they'd see on their Chromebook at seesaw.me. They will click I'm a student and then they have one or two options. They can scan the QR code or they could enter a simple student code that will last for an hour. So you can see I've got my teacher um, window open over here. So when I'm under journal, you can see that I've got the student code option. So I've got my QR code, which you probably already have printed out that you could give to students or the text class code that's good for an hour. And you could write this up on the board or have it there for students so that they can enter it here. It's really whichever is more convenient for you. So for now, I'll go ahead and enter the code. And then they will be in the class. Okay. From here, you will see that the students have an activities tab as well. So they will go to activities. Remember, I didn't assign the writing workshop one, but I do have one in for math work. So this is going to show the students the instructions. And then they could also play the instructions to hear them out loud. I like that this keeps the activities um, kind of in their own tab, so it's easy to grade and view student work. So I can click on Add. I didn't read the full instructions for what I'm supposed to do here, but if I wanted to play them back, I could hear. First, tap the green Add button. So it's asking me to take a photo of my math work. Um, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and put something in so that we can see it here. Okay, I could record over. I could add a label. I've even seen people use the labels to add like emojis to show um, emotion. You can get really creative here. Okay, we'll say I'm Brilliant Betty, and I will submit. So then my activity is done, and as a teacher... I can click on activities, and now I will see that I have two people that have responded. So it really breaks this up so that instead of just a feed, I can see each individual student's response, and then I can go in to approve item. All I have to do to look at individual students is to click on their work, and then I can choose approve or delete. So I'll go ahead and approve this. And then you can see that this is now here, and I will have all of my students' work um, kind of in one neat place. Activities are a great new feature for Seesaw. Um, they can be used on iPads and Chromebooks. Um, I really like them for Chromebooks when you're doing stations. Um, the iPads is great. You need to update the Seesaw app in order for activities to show up.